How's it going, fellow filmmakers and photographers? Connor Ricky here, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my minimalist travel bag and camera gear setup. I literally just got home from a trip. Everything is as is when I was traveling, so I figured it might be valuable to you if I showed you how I arrange everything in my bag, what bag I'm using, because I feel like most creators have kind of their own setup. So today I wanna to share mine with you. Let's get right into it. Just got back from Hawaii, so I'm kind of still on Hawaii mode, just you know, chilling in the hammock today, but I got a lot to go over, so I'm gonna get right into it. Starting from the outside, the bag I use is the Topo Core Pack. Now, I don't think this is necessarily a camera bag, and I'll talk about that more later, but that's why I love it. On the outside, I have my Earthwell water bottle. Always travel with this thing, keeps your water cold. Sustainable. Pro tip, if you're in an airport, you can use this thing as a roller roll your back out, whatever, it's nice. That always lives on that side. And then I have my Joby Gorilla Pod on one side. Can't live without this thing, I'm just always using it. When I'm traveling, I don't really want people to know that I have a ton of expensive camera gear in here. So I've been digging this bag. I think it looks really cool too, the green with all the red accents. I put an F-stop ICU inside of it. So this is all my camera gear right here. You can see it's kind of just an empty hole all my camera gear, so I love this because when I'm going through security at the airport, literally just unzip this thing, boom. Got all my camera gear here, throw it in a bin. Whoa! Don't literally throw your camera gear. <laughs> luckily, <it's, laughs> luckily this thing's padded. So before I get into all these zippers, I'm gonna get into the internal camera unit made by F-Stop. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty stoked on my setup right now for travel. Um, it's taken years of trial and error to refine all this gear into a small compact setup that also can produce the quality that I want it to to make the films that I want to create. I really feel like this is everything I need to create an amazing travel film. All right, so let's quickly run through what's in this bag. The camera I'm currently using is the Panasonic JH5. I love that thing. I have another video that I'll link here where I talk more about it. I use the Sigma 18 to 35 f 1.8 art lens. 75% of the time I use that with a Metabones connector on my GH5. I don't have the speed booster, but I'd like to upgrade to it eventually. So that's kind of my all around go-to lens that I use most of the time. Then I have my wide angle, it's the Lumix 7 to 14 millimeter f4. Again, I would like to upgrade to an f2.8 lens, but this gets the job done for me most of the time. The right side pocket packs a ton of punch. I have my Sony RX100 Mark V. I love this thing as just a secondary B-roll camera. You can throw it in the pocket, get really high quality images. Uh, I can shoot some behind the scenes B-roll stuff with this. It's just a great camera that I love to travel with. Next, we have the even smaller B-roll camera, the Sony RX0 Mark II. I actually just filmed a review video of this camera out in Hawaii and that video will be dropping next week. Super excited for that one. But anyways, I love this camera because it is insanely small, like the size of a GoPro, but you can get some incredibly cinematic footage out of this guy. I always bring it with me on my travels. Always have this thing in my pocket, ready to go. Next, in the same compartment, I have my GoPro. It's not the Hero 7, which I would love to upgrade to, but it's a trusty camera. Always use it to get unique shots. Now moving over to the left compartment, I have my DJI Mavic Air. It just fits oh so perfectly in here. Nothing much to say about this other than I love it, it's an amazing drone. And then in the little compartment underneath that, I keep my controller for my Mavic Air and my microphone, my shotgun microphone, which is a Shure Lenshopper VP83. I'm currently using it. Those both just fit it's nice and snug right in there. All right, so that's it for my camera gear that I keep in the ICU. Now let's go up top. Up top, I've got my 15-inch MacBook Pro. This thing slides nicely in here. Plenty of space. I could honestly probably fit two laptops in here if I really needed to. And then in my front pocket are most of my laptop accessories and chargers. First and foremost, I've got a power practical power bank. You never know when the batteries are gonna die. That's always clutch to have. I've got my G-Drive one terabyte solid state drive. Backup drive, this thing is wicked fast. It's durable. It's so tiny. I bring this drive with me when I go travel and then when I get home I dump it onto bigger slower drives clear this thing again and then I have a, a fresh one terabyte drive uh, for importing footage as I travel 
Next in that same compartment, I have my USB-C hub, which gives me uh, all the USB and micro SD, normal SD card slots that I need to go about my workflow because the, uh, the Apple MacBook Pro only has USB-C uh, ports, which I'm not gonna get into that debate now, but it sucks. But I do love Apple and I'm a loyal fan of their products for other reasons. Then of course I have my MacBook Pro charger, my sunglasses. For my phone charger, I have a very long, I'm not sure how long, Nomad cable. This is their brand new uh, cable that's supposed to be super strong. I mean, I'm loving it so far. It's an iPhone cable, but I like the fact that it's long and it's really durable, so I got that in here. I throw two extra batteries for my Mavic Air in the same compartment, two extra batteries for my GH5 in the same compartment, more SD cards in this little holder, a field notes booklet. Sometimes I just like physically writing more than typing into my phone's notes or if I don't have my phone. I don't know, I just feel more creative when I'm able to write my notes in this. A bunch of microfiber towels for cleaning lenses, etc. And lastly, I've got my business cards in here because you never know when you're gonna be traveling and you make that next amazing connection. It's all about connections, guys. Your network is your net worth. If you learned something today, there it is. Moving on to the very top pocket. This is my quick access, easy access pocket. Got my wallet in here most of the time. Got my fake AirPods I got from Thailand for like 40 bucks in here that are kind of broken, but sometimes work. Two pairs of wired headphones, one of the old, you know, prongy connector and then one of the new bougie fancy one for my phone, I don't know. It's annoying that I have to carry both, but I do. I've got some organic Dr. Bronner's hand sanitizer because airplanes and traveling is gnarly. Stick of Reef Safe Amavara SPF 50, whoa, sunscreen because not trying to get sunburnt and I was just in Hawaii and it looks like some change because you never know when you're gonna need it. I'm just kidding, that was just in here. Like I said, my bag's messy and I was literally just traveling with it. And that's everything guys. I mean, I feel like I can fit a ton of gear in this pretty small package. I got all the camera gear I need for travel videos. I've got my laptop, backup drives, chargers, extra batteries, accessories. Um, I'm pretty stoked on it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments and I'll get back to them ASAP. If you really love this video, subscribe so you can see the next one. Like I said, I was just out in Hawaii filming a review. It's actually a uh, five reasons why I love the camera video of the new Sony RX0 Mark II. That thing is amazing. So yeah, hit that subscribe button so you get notified when that video drops. Hit that bell if you really wanna get notified and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.